Now, you were talking about the thousand plots that that federal officials are looking into, home homegrown terrorist mm -hmm. plots before Orlando. You yeah. were talking about it. Uh, what progress is being made on that front? What do you think Donald Trump has to do as the nominee to communicate to the American people his policy on, on those issues? And what's the status of that right now? Well, I think we, we have to close off all terrorist pathways into the United States, but we also need to look at this internet radicalization phenomenon and maybe find ways to shut down the, their internet communications so they can't radicalize. Most of these cases involve radicalization from within the United States. Right. And looking at, for example, what's been going on with some of these plots, you find out that the FBI talked to the the, like the Orlando shooter, for example, ahead of time, three times, what could be done to change laws? Any change you would recommend to actually prevent these attacks from happening ahead yeah. of time? I mean, you got to operate under the Constitution, predication to detain somebody. But in these cases, if they change some of the policies within the Justice Department, the AG guidelines, they could leave these cases open longer. So they could, you know, if something else came up, they could know about it and try to stop it. There, there's so many of these out there, and what keeps you up at night is the one you don't know about. Right, right. And Donald Trump's gotten a lot of criticism from Hillary Clinton on the ban, temporary ban on Muslims traveling to the United States. Mm -hmm. He's rolled that back geographically. Yeah. Uh, do you agree with that policy, or what's your position on that issue specifically? Well, Giuliani and Judge McCasey and I advised him on this that you can't ban you know all Muslims from coming in. So you have to have a targeted vetting approach towards where the threats really are and coming out of. And I think that's where I think he's pivoted to, and I think that's a better approach. At the GOP convention in Cleveland, I'm Nicholas Ballacy.